Stand by one, Woody. That's got to hit the wiggle. Wiggle oh. on its way. Copy. We see it. Well done. And with those restraint bolts released, you can see the solar array begin to unroll. It is aided by those magnets that snap together. This is the helmet camera view from NASA astronaut Steve Bowen. It will take about 12 minutes for the solar array to completely unfurl. A beautiful view with the Earth below. The International Space Station is approaching the coast of Hawaii. There are five magnets on uh, my side are faded. Happy Steve, we see that in your HECA as well. Thank you. That's a firm flight. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen confirming that he sees those magnets have properly engaged with another confirmation from the flight control team here in Houston. He is going to remain in that position to keep a good visual on the solar array as it rolls out. About two years from the first IROSA, first IROSA unrolling is the sixth IROSA unrolling. Again, that first IROSA or International Space Station rollout solar array was installed on June 16th of 2021. There's some uh, white rectangles that pop out uh, in the center of IROSA as it's rolling out, and it looks like maybe the fifth one up, the right-hand side one, uh, did not fully pop over. Should be able to see it in my HECA. Copy, Woody. We are getting right out the middle of Irosa. We are getting eyes on that. And we appreciate the report. Would you be able to get a picture on your camera as well? Of course. Thank you. Woody and Steve, we're about halfway through deploy. We'll let you know when we can get moving again after deploy is complete. After the solar array is deployed, the team will then proceed to tension it 
or make it be pulled tight. You can see the view here of a size comparison between the new solar array with the legacy array. When unrolled, the International Space Station rollout solar array, the new one, will be 60 feet long by 20 feet wide, and the legacy ones are 112 feet long and 39 feet wide. To the left is the SSRMS, or the Space Station Remote Manipulator System, also known as the Canada Arm 2. It is a contribution from the Canadian Space Agency. It helps move supplies, equipment, and even astronauts during spacewalks like the one today. It is over 57 feet long when it is fully extended. All right, Woody and Steve, we have about two minutes left of deploy, and I have big picture words ready for both of you. Great, ready to copy. Woody, you will be completing the tensioner bolt release, and then doing work site cleanup, pretty much as written in the procedure, we'll have you get crew lock bag M, and then you'll be translating inboard, picking up your green hook along the way, and then working with SSRMS to retrieve the APFR. Following that, we'll have more information. Steve, you ready? I'm ready to copy. Steve, for you, following deploy, you are gonna pick up the cable bag and put it on your BRT. You'll translate inboard, picking up your green hook on the way, and then we will have you at the CETA cart bundling that bag to crew lock bag T. BRT stands for Body Restraint Tether. Close to it, we'll have words on get aheads. Okay. 
the six International Space Station Solar Array is completing. Maybe I didn't notice it on the last deploy, but as we got to the end there, I noticed what looked like, it looked similar to me to what I saw when tensioning occurred yeah. on the last one. And then a little pop. Magnets on your side weren't perfectly lined up before, but they are now. Copy. And we think that that pop is normal. Copy. Great. Okay, with that, deploy is complete. So well done, both of you. Um, Steve, you can translate to retrieve the cable bag. And Woody, sudden stops and quick grabs are still not allowed on the mod kit. And now you have a 25 foot-pound max lateral load on the mod kit less than before now that we have deployed.